So I want to make a sweep on two rails video. Got a lot of requests for it. I also want to um, shout out to a viewer named Jackson, who uh, we've been helping each other back and forth, and he was super good at sweep on two rails, so he gave me a few pointers on that as well. Thank you to Jackson. Let's get started with this. This is part of the Curves workbench. If you do not have this workbench, of course, you can say Tools, Add-on Manager, and then a list of workbenches will come up and you can choose to install a workbench, restart FreeCAD, and you're good to go. If your add-on manager is not working, I have a video for that. So search my channel and you'll be able to add um, the, the workbench anyway. So no worries. Let's start with a new part. We'll go... Um, you can do this on the sketcher. I'll use part design because I really like that when I create a sketch in part design, I can visually see my planes. It's a small point, but it's really, I like it. So if I go to my isometric view, maybe this will be my um, plane to start my front profile. So I'll click on that plane to sketch. And if anyone needs any help, I'll bring up my keyboard monitor so you can see my hotkeys. Here it is. We'll create a spline first, and I'll just constrain that to be horizontal onto my axis, and I'm going to do a really crazy, kind of fun profile to kind of prove out that you can do it with pretty much any shape. So that would be my front sweep profile, or my starting profile. We'll close that. Let's create on the XY plane now our rails. First thing is I'll import the endpoint of my plane. I think it's important to have these connect up. So that little import feature allows me to uh, connect my sketches, right? So here's the first rail profile that I'll be sweeping along. Again, I've made it quite random with a spline. I'll choose this point and shift V to make a vertical dimension. We'll go with maybe a height of 200 millimeters. Nice round number. Now, let's create another sketch on the same plane. And I will import this other endpoint, create a spline, and maybe we can have an even more intense profile. Um, you can have these end up at any orientation. Maybe we'll go through a way to, uh, you know, make a plane if we have to, but I'm going to be easy on this example and let's just create a horizontal that way. And now I can create a plane that's parallel to this one that ends on both of these, right? It should be pretty simple. So we'll close that. And now I can create a plane and actually let's cancel the creation of that plane. I'll delete that. What I'd rather do is go to my planes and we want the uh, XZ plane here. So I'll have that pre-highlighted and then all I have to do is select that point. And there's a plane that will connect both of my rails. Right, so both of these endpoint rails should intersect with this plane. And I'll create a sketch. And we'll do an import. There we go. I've uh, imported a little bit too much instead of just that one point, but that's all right. I'll create yet another spline profile. Right there. We'll close that, and I'll hide the plane with the space bar. Now, I have my start profile, my end profile, and my two rails. So how do we start making this sweep? Well, there is a recipe for this. The first part of the recipe is make your sketches and again they should be all um, you know connected at the same points kind of like a wireframe and then second step of the recipe make a ruled surface with the part workbench so come over here to the part workbench I have this option here create a ruled surface and of course I'll pre-select my wires so I'm gonna hold control select these two rails and create a ruled surface between them with the part workbench there we have it. Step three of our recipe for a sweep on two rails. We want to head over to the curves workbench and use, and that's curve shapes, I need the curves workbench there. We need to actually create a point cloud. So I'll highlight my surface, 
hold control and highlight my start and my end sketch and I come over here to this option that says sweep profiles on two rails when I click that I get a point cloud it's, it's really fun to look at and the colors just make this I don't know next level somehow this is really cool so next we actually need to make the surface we've technically done the sweep let's make the surface I come over, well, in fact, I'll uh, highlight my sweep on two rails, and then we have this option here, approximate points to NURBS, curve, or surface. That's what we want. I click on that, FreeCAD thinks a moment, and then <laughs> there's our sweep on two rails. You can tell it's done a really good job with the uh, very strange NURBS, or I, sh I guess I should say B-splines that I've made with kind of tight curves and everything. So um, if it can stand up to that, I think sweep on two rails can do just about anything. Uh, how cool is that? I mean, again, that that is just one of many of the functions of uh, Curves Workbench. Another really handy one is being able to uh, use the zebra stripes analysis like you can do in SolidWorks and other platforms. Uh, so this is a really exceptional workbench. If you don't have it, it's really worth installing. Hope this video was helpful. Oh, wait! I also was going to show you um, what, what you know some options that we can do if we uh, if we can't use the parallel planes, right? So let me just get delete happy, and I'm going to delete my approximation curves. I'll delete my sweep on two rails. And uh, I, I think I can keep the ruled surface and just try to parametrically edit it, right? So it's sketch 002. What if I delete this horizontal and bring this up here? Well, now there's a problem because this sketch kind of breaks. It's supposed to connect in, and it doesn't. So I'm just actually going to delete this sketch. Um, what are some options? Well. One option, if we head back, maybe to Sketcher, I'll select this point, create a sketch, and we can say something like normal to edge. I'll create a vertical line. Right, and if you don't know, normal to edge is just saying I've got this endpoint on this line that I've selected, and I'll orient the plane normal to the edge that passes through the endpoint. So we have a fully defined plane that way. So I've created a vertical line, and now it should be pretty easy because I can select this line and this line, and uh, on the sketcher, just create a sketch, and uh, we are now sketching normal to the uh, last edge. So that is a way to handle stuff if you uh, aren't ending parallel to where you started from. You can create a plane and start editing stuff. And in this case, we'll create you know, an imported line there so we can have our endpoints, some random <laughs> end, end profile. And then we would just do the same thing. We'll select our surface, start and end sketches. We'll head on over to curves and we'll create our sweep on uh, two rails. There it is. And then we have our point approximation. So I'll highlight my sweep on two rails. We'll create uh, approximate points to NURBS curve or surface. Let FreeCAD think it out. And there we have it. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.